i sztucznej inteligencji i nie tylko. Matt Britton, jeden z szefów Google jest z nami. Hello Matt, thank you for joining us. It's great to be here. I've really enjoyed this impact event. Uh, did you discuss a lot about uh, AI? Uh, what are your impression on that topic? Is it just a hype, a sort of a hype, or is it something that is a uh, game changer in for our civilization? Some people are scared of uh, possibilities that are um, opening um, uh, by uh, AI and uh, by this technology. I think AI is transformative technology. There's a lot of hype around chat, bots and mm. generative AI, but AI is a transformational technology. And I was talking on stage here about how we're using AI to make enormous breakthroughs in science. So screening for breast cancer, modeling proteins that can lead to faster drug discovery, fighting the climate crisis, Google Translate and being able to help people understand the world. These are all things that are powered by AI today. So it's really transformative technology. And actually Eastern Europe has a big part to play in harnessing that technology. We've got amazing engineers that come from here, but getting our values around how we want to use the technology for good is really important too. Is there any risk that as one of Polish professors mentioned, we are creating a, a sort of entity that is in a way that might get ahead of us in terms of intellectual capabilities? Or is it just a pure science fiction in your opinion? And, and what's your take on that? Because we all know about the benefits of using AI, as, you, as you've mentioned, but what about the risk? That, one yeah. step ahead, some say we should stop this. Uh, yeah, look, I mean, I think in the technology. debate at the moment, it's very easy for people to go straight to the risks, right? You know, you can see, oh my goodness, is this going to disrupt the employment market, big misinformation, are the machines going to take over? And we need to make sure that we understand and manage those risks. And what's good is people are talking about those risks now. And that mm -hmm. means that there are smart people kind of concerned to understand how we mm -hmm. put guardrails around the technology. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure, however, that we're not so risk averse that we don't innovate because there are huge benefits to come. So we need to be balanced in our approach and a risk based approach to AI is really important. I told a story earlier. Mm -hmm. I sat down with a policymaker who held up a fork and she said, this fork is technology. I can eat the beautiful pasta mm -hmm. with it mm -hmm. or I can stab you in the hand. Mm -hmm. We don't ban the fork but we have consequences for when it's used in that kind of offensive way. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, the same has to apply to AI. We need to innovate well. Mm -hmm, If we mm -hmm. don't in Europe, then other people will be doing that and we'll fall behind. And we want Europeans mm -hmm. to have access to the best technology, but mm -hmm, we need to mm -hmm. uh, regulate around the ways in which can be misused and have very clear guardrails mm -hmm. for how this new technology can be used and harnessed for good. Do we fully uh, understand the mechanism, algorithms, that are behind AI or maybe there is the hidden risk that they are so sophisticated then even their creators are in a way unaware of the mechanism that are governing them. They communicate those algorithms between themselves. We give them some data and then we get some result but we don't know what happens in between. Yeah. What do you think about it? Yeah, well I mean So what's it's more than a fork, this AI, sorry. Yeah, so no, you're right. It's a new type of technology, and what's new about it is uh, that it, it learns. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And um, so that sort of deep reinforcement learning at the heart of uh, AI and generative AI is new. And so you're right that we need to be careful about how we apply it. But what we should be doing, I think, is looking at the outputs of the technology and saying, is this something that we want to see more of or less of? How do we manage what comes out of it? And mm -hmm. we've got incredible minds and many, many more people all the time now adding mm -hmm. to the people who are researching and managing AI and mm -hmm. also thinking about the ethics of AI as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a team sport. You know, we've been um, focused on AI at Google for many years now mm -hmm. and we've published our guidelines on how we think about the ethics of AI. We've built tools to help other people do the same. Mm -hmm. We've published our research to allow people like ChatGPT to build mm -hmm. what they've built. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's a team sport and we all need to be working together on this. Ethicists, governments, communities and technologists to harness the technology for good. It's too big a technology for us to just let it run. We've got mm -hmm. to Uh, apply ourselves to harnessing it for good. And if we do that right, it can help us be more productive, it can help us be safer, it can help us be healthier, and it can help us to have a sustainable future for the planet. So it's it got enormous promise, and we need to make sure we harness it for good. Thank you so much for this interview. Thank you.